We are in my favorite place in the entire world, Target. I know I can't be the only one, but today I am trying out the semi-new hair care brand called Josie Curls. Of course, this brand caught my eye because y'all know I'm still on a $50 budget for the year 2021. And I said, well, since I don't have much money to spare this year, I might as well test out a product brand that is relatively inexpensive and you're not gonna get much cheaper than $4.99, right? So, I did just pick up a few of the items and let's see how this wash day goes. So, starting off with their cleanser hydrating shampoo, I did notice that this particular shampoo was not shampooing. Like, it was not giving me <laughs> what it's supposed to give. So the scent was all right, nothing to scream home to mama about. I mean, it just was like a florally pleasant kind of smell, but not all that pleasant where I want to smell it again, if you know what I mean. I literally couldn't get it to set up at all whatsoever. I actually like began to get frustrated. Frustrated to the point where I just realized like, I'm, I'm just not gonna get it. Like this is literally like at this point, I'm realizing like this is now officially my worst wash day I've ever experienced. I do not like washing my hair and I don't see the suds. I need to see the suds. I need to feel like my scalp is clean. I generally don't put shampoo all over my strands. I put shampoo on my scalp and I allow it to run down the length of my strands. But if I don't even have shampoo sudden on my scalp, I just know the length of my hair is not getting clean. So needless to say, this was terrible absolutely f <laughs> and i got what i paid for so you can only imagine right now i'm feeling like this this wash day is not looking too good i really felt like my hair was not clean whatsoever so i had to go in with another product that's right i had to completely stop using their products and i had to go in with an og and that is my shampoo bar y'all know i have used shampoo bars in the past and i absolutely love shampoo bars this shampoo bar is from tailored beauty and it's amazing instantly yes y'all instantly sudden so needless to say i made it do what it do with what i already had but this shampoo is absolutely to the hell no. Because I had to go ahead and use my shampoo bar, my shampoo bar to me kind of strips my hair a little bit. So like, but I know my hair is clean. So at the end of the day, like that's kind of what my hair was feeling like a little dried out. So I did go in with their moisturizing conditioner afterwards and praying that this was better than, well, it had to be better than that shampoo. And surprisingly, it actually was. Uh, the conditioner was very moisturizing and it had really great slip. My hair was like semi-tangled, so it wasn't like the worst. I've, pretty, I've had some really bad tangles or tangles within my wash day and this wasn't the worst. But in all, I will give this an okay, maybe like a C plus. So now we're gonna go ahead and fast forward over to the leave-in. Surprisingly, this leave-in was actually really good. All the products have that same running scent, so I wasn't a fan of the scents. Once again, it's just okay, and I just would have liked something else. I also thought their packaging was really strange, that they changed the colors each time, and like I didn't really understand the significance. The blue theme is with the, I guess, with the conditioner, so the washout conditioner, then the leave-in conditioner have like that baby blue color, then that terrible shampoo is pink, and then the final product that I'll be putting on my hair is the styler, which they decided to use yellow as the color for that. And because of it being yellow, I don't know, like I thought it was going to, well, actually I just feel like it should have smelled like lemons I don't know like it was giving me lemon vibes and I didn't get anything so again once again it did not give me what it was supposed to give but either way I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this wash day as quick as I possibly can so applying the product it actually applies very nice and I feel like 
I feel like purchasing the leave-in, pairing it with the styler, I think they work very well together. Um, I might have applied a little bit too much leave-in because I did see a little bit of build-up. So that's just something to know if you do pair those two together. But in all, it wasn't a bad combination. So now it's time, of course, for me to do a little bit of air drying. So after I let my hair air dry for like a few hours, I just realized how my hair just look, I don't know, it just don't look good. <laughs> it doesn't look like how my hair normally looks like moisturized. And then it's like so much shrinkage. I just hated it. So I did go ahead and get my blow dryer to at least try to stretch my hair back out just a tad to see if I could find some type of satisfaction with this wash today. But needless to say, this was my worst wash and go wash day experience i've ever had and i know some people are gonna probably say your hair don't look that bad well my hair has looked a lot better than this so the takeaway of the day is that cheaper nine times out of ten is not better i won't be even using these products again they can sit on my shelf um if somebody wants them I will give them to you. You just have to pay for shipping. You just got to give me the money. Cash up me the money and I'll ship it to you because <laughs> I don't want it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you do like it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. And as always, I'm a little different and different is love. See you in the next one.